incredibly within seconds. It's Belize. It's going to score. Sure, it's it. Here are the top 18 United States men's national team players of all time. Number 18, Christian Pulisic. Sure, he's never played in a Gold Cup or a World Cup, but there's no denying the obvious talent of Padawan Pulisic. With seven goals throughout the latest qualifying cycle for the World Cup, the Borussia Dortmund attacker did everything in his power to get the U.S. to Russia. But, unfortunately, um, yeah, let's just not talk about that. Number 17, Casey Keller. A regular in the Premier League, La Liga, and the Bundesliga, Keller's vast experience in 102 international caps tell you pretty much everything you need to know about his quality between the sticks. His 10 saves against Brazil and America's shock 1-0 victory at the 98 Gold Cup also ranks as one of the finest individual performances in the national team's history. Number 16, John O'Brien. Hugely talented but often injured, the Los Angeles native signed with Ajax as a 17-year-old and progressed through the club's famed academy before showcasing his talents at the 2002 World Cup. With O'Brien fit, the U.S. went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the midfields of Portugal, Mexico, and Germany while frequently dominating large periods of play. Number 15, Kobe Jones, the all-time leader in caps for the United States. He's got 164 of them. And a veteran of three World Cups, Jones was a fixture in the player pool for 12 years. In terms of consistency, longevity, and professionalism, Jones is the standard bearer for U.S. soccer. Number 14, Tab Ramos. Shout out to Montevideo, Uruguay. Ramos appeared in three World Cups for the United States between 1990 and 1998. He suffered a fractured skull, damn, at the 1994 tournament in the U.S.'s knockout round match against Brazil. And to come back from that is enough to be on this list, honestly. Oh, the elbow. Elbow by Leonardo. On top, Ramos. Woo. Number 13, John Harkes, a key player for the U.S. at the 1990 and 94 World Cups before being controversially omitted from the 98 squad. Harkes amassed 90 caps, but is perhaps most famous for his role that he played in America's upset win over Colombia on home soil. It was also the cross which led to Andres Escobar's ill-fated own goal. Rest in peace. His suspension for the round of 16 encounter against Brazil for yellow card accumulation was a horrible blow for the team. Number 12, Michael Bradley. Michael Bradley's reputation has taken a beating since his poor 2014 World Cup and pretty horrendous 2018 World Cup qualifying cycle, but the midfield marshal is absolutely worthy of his 140 caps and 17 international goals. He was a key performer in the U.S.'s run at the 2009 Confederations Cup Final and followed that up with a stellar play at the 2010 World Cup, including a massive game-tying goal versus Slovenia. And Bradley's on the end of it, and Bradley scores! Redemption for the United States of America! Number 11, Tim Howard. The meme of 2014 World Cup, what can't Tim Howard save? Howard's legend is secure for all time after recording the record for most World Cup saves in a match, totaling 15 against Belgium during the 2014 round of 16. The Secretary of Defense was also stellar at the 2010 tournament, turning in a man of the match performance against England helped the US emerge from group play. Number 10, Steve Trundolo. That's fun to say. With seven World Cup appearances, Steve Trundolo was a key performer for the States at the 2006 and 2010 World Cups. Only an injury prevented him from playing in the 2002 tournament, and he played all 390 minutes at the 2010 Cup. Number 9, Eric Winalda. Winalda played in three World Cups in his 28-yard free kick against Switzerland at the 1994 tournament as perhaps the finest strike the U.S. has ever had at a World Cup Finals. That's enough to get you top 10 status. Number eight, Marcelo Balboa. Marcelo Balboa appeared in eight FIFA World Cup matches for the United States while anchoring the defense at both the 1990 and 94 World Cups. His performances for the U.S. at the 94 World Cup cemented his reputation as one of the finest defenders in the history of the USMNT. Number seven, Brad Friedel. Friedel was in goal when the United States men's national team advanced to the quarterfinals of the 2002 World Cup. He saved two, two penalties, two times, during regular time, including an incredible performance against South Korea that salvaged a draw for the United States. Number six, Demarcus Beasley. Beasley participated in four World Cups for the USA and could well have made it a fifth if the US had qualified for Russia. The winger was a revelation at the 2002 tournament and he assisted Clint Dempsey on the goal of the 2006 tournament. He made only one appearance at the 2010 World Cup, but he played in all four matches for the US in Brazil in 2014. Number five, Claudio Reyna. Claudio Reyna became the first American in the modern era to make the World Cup All-Tournament team with his performances from the heart of the United States midfield. For both the 2002 and the 2006 tournaments, all good things funneled through Reyna, a player whose technique and ability went unmatched in the American squad. 
He had an excellent match against Italy at the 2006 World Cup, but his international legacy ended on a sour note in the United States' 2-1 defeat to Ghana. Reyna sprained his MCL when losing the ball to Hamanu Draman, allowing Ghana to open the scoring while Reyna was substituted later and retired altogether. Number four, Brian McBride. A member of three different World Cup squads, Brian McBride was only the second American to ever score at multiple World Cups. His goal against Iran in 1998 was the only bright spot of an otherwise disastrous tournament for the Americans, but it was his goal against Portugal and Mexico at the 2002 World Cup that secured his legacy as one of the greatest American strikers of all time. A lasting image of McBride was a gnarly gash he received after taking a bow from Daniel De Rossi at the 2006 World Cup. It was blatant and earned in the Italian got a four game suspension. Number three, Eddie Pope. Eddie Pope played in nine World Cup matches for the United States and he was instrumental in America's run to the quarterfinals in 2002, shutting down a Mexican attack led by Jerry Borghetti and Cuauhtémoc Blanco in the round of 16. Pope's final World Cup appearance for the U.S. ended in a farce when he was sent off for two incredibly soft bookings against Italy in 2006. Number two, Clint Dempsey, the first American to score at three consecutive World Cups. Dempsey played a vital role in getting the United States beyond the group stage at both the 2010 and the 2014 World Cups, with two strikes against Ghana, one in 2006 and one in 2014. To go along with goals against England and Portugal, the United States men's national team has never seen a more consistent attacker at the world's biggest stage. Dempsey also holds the record for the fifth fastest goal in World Cup history. He's a dope rapper and he actually has techers on the pitch, unlike most Americans. Just check this out from Clint Dempsey. See you later. Number one, pretty obvious here folks, Landon Donovan. No American has ever lit up a World Cup like Landon Donovan did at the 2002 event in South Korea and Japan. He was named the tournament's best young player. Donovan played a key role in the Americans' victory over Portugal and he scored goals against both Poland and Mexico. A superb save from Germany's cat with silk gloves, Oliver Kahn, stopped him from writing his name in the history books in the quarterfinals. And following a disappointing 2006 World Cup, Donovan again outlined his importance to the United States with heroic showing at the 2010 World Cup. His goal against Slovenia was subsequently topped by a last second winner against Algeria. With five World Cup goals, Donovan is the all time top scorer for the United States. Donovan has it from hope. There is glory. It's London Donovan.